In today's tutorial, I will illustrate how to draw a CD-ROM in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is change my document properties so we can get a 500 by 500 pixel document. Next thing I'll do is draw a circle. We're going to make sure our circle size is 432 pixels by 432 pixels. I want to make this about a 20% gray shade and I want to make sure that our stroke is turned on. Stroke size should be 4.5 and the stroke color needs to be 7.5% gray. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is draw another ring size of this ring needs to be 145.8 by 145.8 we're going to make sure that the color is white we'll leave the stroke color and the stroke size alone I'll align both of these together Next, we're going to draw another circle. Okay, I'll change the color to red so we can see it. The size of this circle needs to be 137.487 by 137.487. We're going to change the stroke size to 1.362. We're going to make the color 2.5% fill and we're going to leave uh, the stroke color 7.5% gray. Next we're going to draw a cutout circle. This particular circle needs to have the stroke turned off and the size of this circle it's going to be 53 pixels by 53 pixels. We'll align both of those together. And I'll cut away the smaller circle from the larger circle to give us a cutout. I'll go ahead and line these together. That so far gives us a, a cutout circle there. Next I'm going to draw a ring. The size of this ring needs to be 126.9 by 126.9. We're going to make sure our stroke is shut off. It is. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. I'm going to duplicate this. I'll change its color to yellow so you can see it. I'm going to select Path, Dynamic Offset. We'll pick our Node tool. And I'll stretch this down just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to cut the yellow away from the red. We'll use our difference command. We're going to duplicate this. And what I'm going to do now is do a dynamic offset. Let me change the color so you can see it. Okay, now you can see it. And we're going to change this color to white. We're going to give it a blur effect of 2. That kind of makes a, a 3D shape. Okay. Now to get to the color behind it, we're going to make it a 7.5% gray. 
Now align both these things back together. And I'll do a union on that. Pick these things and we'll align them together. Okay, and that's pretty much the basic shape of our uh, CD-ROM. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate the background. And I need to get this piece right here. So I'm gonna duplicate this, bring it over here, and align them together. And next thing I'm gonna do is cut the smaller circle away. I can push these things back together again. We'll use our align tool, center it all up, there we go. And what I'm gonna do for this particular one is I'm gonna give it a gradient fill. We're gonna edit our gradients. And I'm just gonna give you the RGBA color code. Our first one is a B, C, D, 3, 5, F, F, F. Our next one will change its opacity to full and we'll change the color code to a 9C, 9F, E4, FF. We'll add a stop. We'll change its color to an EA. 7070FF. Add another stop. We'll make this a 6A85E0FF. We'll add another stop. This will be an 8392. E2, FF, that should give us five stops. We'll make this last stop about a 0.97. Okay, and there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is change the transparency to about maybe about a 50%. And I'm gonna Add this to our background of our CD. That kind of gives us that uh, CD look. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Slide this back over again. And I'm going to select our Bezier tool. I'll go through the center of the hole. Try to align my crosshairs to the center. I'll make this path white and I'll turn off the stroke. And I'm going to select the CD, our Bezier path, and I'm going to do a clip set, and we'll move this back. Now, this is a pretty good effect right now. If you like it like that, you can leave it, or you can change that back to white. We'll change its transparency just a little bit more. And there we have it. That gives us kind of a shine on the CD-ROM since it is plastic. And uh, there you go. We've just drawn a CD-ROM in Inkscape. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.